All right, um, here's a problem. Um, we're asked to calculate the rate of change of a function along a path. The function in this case is a function of three space. Um, it's x, y, e to the z. We have a curve through three space. And we're asked to do this at a particular time, at t equals 1. All right, so this corresponds to a point on the curve. And so we're going to find the, um, the change of the function uh, g at that point on the curve. All right. So let's go ahead and, and work that out. Let's go ahead and get the uh, gradient of g. So the partial of g with respect to x is y e to the z. The partial of y with respect, sorry, the partial of g with respect to y is x e to the z. And then finally, the partial of g with respect to z is x y e to the z. All right. Now, um, we can find this gradient at the point c of 1, if we know what the point is. So at, at 1, we'll have t equals 1, we'll have 1, comma 1, comma 0. So we can evaluate the gradient at that point, 1, 1, 0. So plugging those in for x, y, and z gives us, let's see, uh, 1 times e to the 0. Then we'll have 1 times e to the 0, and then 1 times 1 times e to the 0. Kind of generous numbers here. So we have 1, comma 1, comma 1. So this is the gradient at that point. Now let's calculate the tangent vector at that point. First, uh, here's the... Uh, so there's a function, right? The derivative of the tangent vector is 2t, comma, 3t squared, comma, 1. And so the tangent vector at t equals 1 is 2, 3, and 1. And so the rate of change of g of c, so the, the change in the function um, as you traverse the path, is the gradient of g dotted with the um, tangent vector. So this is 1 comma 1 comma 1 dotted with 2 comma 3 comma 1 which equals 2 plus 3 plus 1 or 6. So I'm remembering that the these derivatives at points at a particular time um, is a number. So we're taking a dot product, so it's a scalar, but if we evaluate that scalar function um, at a particular time, we will get a, a number.